This video is about setting up a link to the management of your OneNote notebook, whether it be a class notebook in a school scenario or within a corporate scenario. So we first of all need to create a group of users that we're going to use um, to make a menu item only visible to them. This is going to be using something called audience targeting. In this scenario I have a group of science teachers that I'm going to allow to see the link that I will create in the quick launch. So we have our user group that we'll see within site settings and we'll go into our permissions and groups, people and groups. And I have a group of science teachers. These will be the people that can see the menu item that I'm going to create. So back to our site. What we need to do is visit our class notebooks. I've gone into the class notebooks library and within that is the folder where our notebook is. Now if this is a, a corporate scenario, if I just quickly click over to another site, um, we're just going to be visiting the document library and where the, the notebook is. So we're just trying to get uh, the URL and, and manipulate it a little. So this is probably the most painful part of the process for those of you who are not familiar with working with URLs or, or changing various things and manipulating things within the URL. So it is quite an ugly looking URL. We're going to take that URL and put it in, let's say OneNote, <laughs> and um, manipulate it from there. The notebook that I'm going to work with is the Year 10 Science Notebook. So I'll copy this link out of the address bar and just fire up a quick note with OneNote. And yes, as you can see, it's quite long and ugly looking. So the piece that we're interested in um, that we're going to manipulate is this part here. We're going to remove everything from the, the word folder CTID and the F and the AND symbol, ampersand symbol. And the link that we're left with there is the location of where you will find the notebook. What we're going to do now is add the name of the notebook at the end of the link. So our notebook name, if we just quickly reveal where that is, is forward slash y10 science. Now in a previous blog post I said that if there are any spaces in the name so if that was Y10 space science I suggested that you put a percentage in 20 sign however I have found that if you do leave a gap that's not so important because the browser will usually fill that gap in for you with the characters that it requires so what's the effect of this what we're looking at is that the um, the link itself sort of stops here and everything following that is going to say I want to see a root folder view of the notebook and it gives all the path and it takes us into the notebook at this point. Uh, at the moment the view we're seeing is outside the notebook but it's important that we put this notebook name at the end of the link to help us to get inside the notebook using the SharePoint tools and that's where all the great stuff happens. So we'll take that link now that we've manipulated it and we'll put it into our address bar and see what occurs. So now what we see is a picture of what's actually inside a OneNote file. Uh, what we see is we've got sections. So there is a welcome section. There is uh, section groups. So within these groups, if I go into, let's say, Elizabeth Swan's notebook within a notebook, a section group, we'll see the sections within that area of the notebook. And to give you a view of what that looks like within the notebook, there's the notebook here. We're looking into the section group for Elizabeth Swan. As you can see, it's a, a quite a different icon to how a section looks. And it groups the sections for Elizabeth Swan, and she has handouts, class notes, etc. What does that look like again within the notebook or the SharePoint view of the notebook? Here are the sections here, class, notes, handouts, etc. 
the file open notebook is a special file that controls um, how the, the notebook is being opened. So whenever you're working within a view like this and you want to see or share the whole notebook, it's best to open the open notebook file because that will give you a view within your uh, OneNote Online browser um, of the whole notebook and all the sections that are visible in this section group. So let's go back up a level to our notebook. And the, the link that we've created, manipulated and, and loaded is the one that we want to save so that we can easily access the notebook later and manage it um, whenever we need to. So we're going to take that same link now that we know that it works and we're going to create an item within our quick launch menu. So now that we've copied that into our clipboard, we're going to create a new link on the quick launch. We use edit links at the bottom of the quick launch and add a link and we'll call the link manage year 10 science we'll paste the address in there and click OK now at this point when we click save we've got a link at the bottom of the quick launch menu um, we want to move it up so that it's just below Y10 science and we also want to apply the audience targeting so that it will only be visible to our science teachers. So we'll do that next step from the site settings and using the navigation feature. I've turned on a site collection feature called publishing site infrastructure which gives me a little more control over my menus. So now down in the current navigation area I can control where that item is going to be in the menu. I'll move it up so it's just below Y10 Science. And now I'll edit the link and I'm going to apply an audience to it. I'll look it up in the directory and I'm going to look for my SharePoint group Science Teachers. Oops. Choose my Science Teachers and add that. And just because of the theme that I'm using, the link text is invisible on a black background so I've highlighted it to show you that I have indeed added the science teachers as the audience. We'll click OK and save that change to the quick launch menu. So now just to test that that item is working, we'll click on the item and it takes us through to the SharePoint view of inside our notebook. And just to go one step further, we'll log in as a student and we will show you that the student cannot see the management link to the notebook. So this is Jack and logging into our class site. And we see links to the notebooks, but as you can see over here, there's no link to manage Y10 science. In the next series of videos, we're going to look at some usage scenarios about changing the permissions within the notebook. Some of those scenarios might be removing students from a class notebook or sharing a section or section group with someone outside of the organisation. So follow along with me and see if we can get even more out of OneNote notebooks, whether it be classrooms or within a corporate situation.